so it says the following output is displayed and we have been given a screenshot of the output generated and it is asking us which SAS program created this output so let us take a look at the options which are being given to see what all the procedures they might have given here so here all the options are making use of a common procedure which is freak procedure okay so this question is actually testing our comprehensive understanding of the of the output generated by proc freak so this output basically is a two-way cross tabulation output because we have gender versus answer and we have the gender being the gender values being displayed as rows and the answer values being displayed as columns and we are reporting the frequency and in order to answer this question you need to have an understanding of what are the default statistics produced by proc freak for a two-way table in the output window and the default statistics produced are frequency percentage row percentage and column percentage so if we take a look at an example the default statistics produced by proc freak for two-way cross tabulation are frequency percentage row percentage and column percentage so if we had seen like here only frequency was present and using some of the options on the table statement we can suppress these individual components so in order to suppress percentage we have an option called no percentage on the table statement and in order to suppress row percentage we have an option called no row and in order to suppress column percentage we have an option called no call so this output would look like this if only we had used those three options and then the next thing that we need to take a look at in this output is this frequency missing is equal to 4 by default proc freak procedure ignores the rows with missing values in either the gender variable or answer variable or both of them so whenever we are requesting a cross tabulation so and if we wanted to consider those missing as a level in the data so we should use an option called missing on the table statement so if we had used missing option so we would have got a row with a missing value and we would have got a column with a missing value based on the presence of missing value in gender or answer variables so this report is clearly generated without using the option missing on table statement so effectively for the answer we are looking for is should have the three options to suppress the percentage row percentage and column percentage and also for the absence of the option missing because if missing had been used we would have got missing as a row and missing as a column in the report so let us take a look at the options one by one so the first thing to look for is the order of the variables in the cross tabulation so as we have gender being displayed as the row values that should be the first variable on the table statement followed by the answer variable so here we have it correct gender asterisk answer the cross tabulation between gender and answer so that the values present in gender appear as rows and the values present in answer appear as columns and then we are looking for options presence of options no call no row and no percentage as those were suppressed and we were also looking for the absence of the option missing on the table statement so no, missing option is not used and the three required options have been used so this seems to be the correct answer but before we conclude let us take a look at the other options and then see why they may not be correct if you see here on the table statement the cross tabulation is requested for answer and gender so if this were to be the correct answer we would have had the values in answer appearing as rows so this is wrong for this specific reason so and then let us take a look at the fourth 
third option it says gender versus answer this part of the syntax is correct and as expected and we were looking for the presence of three options no row no call and no percentage all three options were used but we were also looking for the absence of missing because the presence of missing would not have resulted in this row in the output so this option is not right because missing option has been used on the table statement so then let us take a look at the final option that is given so again here if we see the table statement the core two-way tabulation request itself is wrong so this option is ruled out so the closest options are first one and the third one but on the third one we have additionally the missing option which would have suppressed the frequency is equal to missing note and also included the missing values as one of the levels in gender in the rows and also in one of the columns under answer so the first answer is the correct one let us check if this is the correct one or not yep so the screen has turned green and it says our response was the option which only had no row no call and no percentage and the correct response was also the one which had no row no call and no percentage with gender and answer so this is how we need to answer a question